Welcome to TF Gaming and Reviews. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I got a question for you all, you anime fans who watch Case Clothes. Whoever watched Case Clothes, every time I ask people if they ever watch Case Clothes, they say, oh, that was a good show. And apparently they have, so they've not watched it. But, <laughs> I'm a just fan boys. Um, I, I like it. But you know, we're watching, you're watching, and ask yourself, can you really do that? I, I, first of all, yeah, they showed a scene. But no, these are those little how you died, how those experiments or and how the murder happened. It gets really outrageous, like using fishing line to drag a body to transport a dead body a few feet from the house. I said, first of all, a fishing line can barely hold a fish. You need a lot of fishing line or a rope. To, for that to happen, I, it would be more believable if they used a rope. But the rope was heavy and wouldn't be able to be able to disappear that easily. <laughs> That's how you know that those experiments are BS. And <laughs> some of them is BS. Some of the experiments are BS. Actually, more than 99 If it has something to do with fish line, it's BS. Okay? Don't try it at home because it probably won't work. 99% sure it won't work. <laughs> First of all, you need something a lot stronger than a string to pull a tire bookshelf down by itself. You would need to make it easier for the bookshelf to fall over to hit something in the back of the Anyway, number two, putting slightly, oh yeah, let's go with the bank manager's wife dying. Well, see where the bank, the bank, yeah, but the banking president, the one who got robbed for $200 million. Where he, they show him in a different episode where he kills his wife using the other bookcase and a knife stick using the top of the books. Now there's only one problem with that. It's called gravity. <laughs> it's called gravity. First of all, that would never work. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you two major, three major reasons why. Unless it was glued there or somehow kept there strongly so that it does not move to the left or to the right upon falling. Which it would, okay, the moment he started falling is the moment that knife would have fell to the ground. It would not have been successful. I, what would have been more believable is them taping the knife to the bookcase. Then maybe, just maybe, it would have enough force to stab in the back. But not the killer, maybe the injure. But that was ridiculous. <laughs> First of all, let me tell you what would have really happened. If they put, he had put that knife up there with the books. On top of the books, like that. The moment that bookshelf tilted 180 degrees to the front, the book would have fell out, and the knife with it. <laughs> the knife would have fell to the ground with the books, and the only thing that would hit her was the bookcase, bookshelf. And she might have been knocked unconscious, but that's about it. When we, there wouldn't be a giant knife in her back. Sorry. Now, if you would say those books were glued in <laughs> and could not move, and it was tightly there enough for a knife to maybe get this, maybe, and just do what I can tape it down. Hard enough so that it doesn't move, pop it back, and then it was that and two, even if it was even remotely possible, it would be nearly impossible for him to put the bookshelf back in place with the knife still in her back without the knife coming out. So, it messed up the evidence. So, Unless that that came out and he stabbed her again, <laughs> you would have to make sure he stabbed the knife, put it the knife back again, exactly how the knife stabbed her in the first place. And still, there have been evidence that the knife was removed and put back in. Blood all over the place. This is how you know you should never. I hope nobody gets no ideas from Conan because I'm just going to guarantee you that none of those scenarios would work ever in in the history of life. They purposely made sure that. Never work. <laughs> the way some of them are set up, I think 99% wouldn't work. The way you, they would intentionally fail because those are unrealistic or cartoony. The so cartoons would that work. It, <laughs> I can only imagine somebody trying that instantly. They fail, yes, because that's not how things work in real life. It's called gravity. And in cartoons, you can make any ridiculous thing happen. But Somebody 
somebody dying with not real work in real life. Maybe the elect, the only one, the one with the girl getting electrocuted. I mean, the guy getting like, oh, with the girl, I don't know which one, but the one electrocuting case. I mean, God electrocuted. That one, the suicide case. Got one. <laughs> Simple things like that. But some of those convoluted ones, no. Not especially when they're involving vision wire. Vision wire can never, under any circumstance, ever hold a dead body by itself. <laughs> never. It would never happen. <laughs> it would never happen. <laughs> if you think it would happen, it would never happen. <laughs> I'm going to guarantee you. Go fishing, you'll find out. <laughs> go fishing and you'll find out <laughs> why. Because your fishing line will break. It breaks when you tug too hard on it. <laughs> what makes you think <laughs> you can carry a dead body on it? <laughs> Especially by the buckle. <laughs> But I'm just saying, don't ever, don't try. Don't think you can try that stuff in real life. It will never work. <laughs> but this is a good show nonetheless. It gets you just in 99% of the time. You'll probably figure out who did it before the show's over. I mean, maybe if it's not, maybe not the first time. Sometimes you'll, they'll tell you beforehand for some reason. Or you'll find out, you'll know who did it beforehand. And then I guess it's the idea of how you went about doing it. But I think that's still dumb because they would have switched it up a little bit. Oh. I watched every episode of Detective Conan that is available to watch. That is. It took me a while, like over like uh, almost a year, <laughs> watching it straight. But I'm so at time. It helped that I've seen some of the episodes already, but but I thought I'd talk about some of those experiments they seem to have in the show. And I say I wanted to myself, if people ever, I know people don't ever try because they know it's ridiculous, but it's still ridiculous. So, I might try and use a dummy to try to test that out. Not a real subject. Don't know. You're not advocating for illegal activities. You just. <laughs> that even if you were to use. Test it out on a fake subject. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't even work on a toy. A watermelon would break a fishing line. Because that's about the size of a human. But. Maybe not the size of human, but you take a few watermelons. I think one of them about one of them weighs about 50 pounds. You put a couple of them, like a snowman, that would weigh the average adult. Would be like walking would be like three, three kids in one. Um, but yeah, and it took even a rope to keep them up, but. It's just ridiculous. Some of the experiments on there are just ridiculous. But I know it's a cartoon, so obviously it's going to be ridiculous on purpose. On purpose. It's outrageous on purpose. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, and they always, it's always like power is attorney. I discovered your secret. The suspect's always there. You know that's not a, that a ridiculous thing. Is that the suspect actually still being around after killing a person it makes absolutely no sense. If you kill somebody, you be running. I'm running out of town. I leave the area. <laughs> I'm not gonna see. <laughs> you see, I got, I got, I, I took out my suspect, the, the guy. I'm, I'm gonna leave. Right now I gotta go. See ya. That might be suspicious if I left. Not where he go. He left. <laughs> like I, I was. Like, you been left like where you been? <laughs> no, I say you know way in real life, you know in every case, the suspects, the suspect, the go guy, the suspect is always three of them. So wait, three. So you, you ask all the witnesses and they came up with three possible suspects. So it was three people who did it. I think it was only one. But out of the three people who were around, they just randomly chose three people. You can always figure out who it is. It's never the obvious one. Mm -mm. They 
want you to think it's obvious one. No, it's usually the first person who tells the story. So I know it ain't. You always got to trace back the evidence. Okay, they go when they introduce the story, right? It's the guy beats them and his mind is all. He's gonna be the first victim. The first person who's a, a deuce bag is gonna die. Just just know that. I'm pretending he had time. If he's a deuce bag, he's going to die instantly. I'm just gonna tell you that he's gonna be dead and live in the next two scenes. If he's a really over the top douche bag, he's gonna be dead and live in the next two scenes. And who's gonna kill him? Let's see. You can figure it out. It's usually a formula to it. <laughs> it's usually a formula to it. It's always the innocent person in the room that tries. It's either the person who tries to point the blame the other the other two, or the one who's the most quiet. But it's, he'll give clues out. Obviously, all of them will do something shady. But you gotta figure out which one of them did the most. Was most likely the one who did it. And it, it's really entertaining, you know, when you already know about the vegan kudos face, who the big, the something you suspect, based off his face. You already know. <laughs> Facial expression tells it all. Yeah, whoever he looks weird at. He did it. <laughs> Whoever he looks weird at is the one who did it. Guaranteed. They might try to trick, trick you for a minute there. Have him look weird at two different people. But those looks are a little bit different. But when he gets really serious, look, it's usually that the person who did it. I guarantee it. <laughs> so. There's that. But anyway, until next. Next time, what I'm doing, I think I'm going to talk about this fella here. My hero, Academia. <laughs>